Assalamu alaikum and greetings. This is Ali Shamo and welcome to my little table right here. And uh, I have decided that I will go with uh, a simple uh, Robocat 270 FPV racing quadcopter build. Actually, I'm actually I have a lot of lot of things to do, but I thought it would be good to take you all along uh, with me and how I'm building this Robocat because when I was watching the uh, user manuals online and I saw the kit here. It seems like there are copies of copies now going around in China. So the build video uh, which is going on uh, YouTube is totally a quality frame. I haven't seen those components right here on my table. I mean in my, uh, in my box that I have received from China. So I thought that I would just go ahead and post my build video for Robocat 270mm uh, FPV Racing Quadcopter so you can see what's different in my kit and how I'm building it. So first thing here are all the components, okay, the ESCs are Emacs Simon K ESCs. I don't know who uses Simon K until now except Ali Shama. <laughs> these can take only 3S battery maximum, so I'm not very very happy with these uh, Simon K ESCs which are 12 amp. I do have may take 12 amp ESCs which take 4S. So anyway, because I want to show all of you how the stock setup uh, performs so I'm gonna go uh, without any choice I'm gonna go with all the components that are here I'm sure motors can take 4s so later maybe I will change the ESCs to something that takes 4s so here is all the components let's begin with uh, the build first things first um, you have some uh, small standoff okay and a longer screw so you should have 12 longer screw and a small standoff so what you're gonna do is take the bigger part of the plate okay and look here there are two blocks metal blocks okay take the tallest one I believe if I'm right but later we can replace them because this is where the canopy will actually mount on it okay so uh, taller block will go ahead uh, so the taller block will go on the front of the lower plate and then you will go ahead and uh, let me push the things backward so we can get some space then you will go ahead and mount all the arms using the longer screws and stand off okay just like this so you will have one screw going through from the bottom going through the frame and the arms and then you will put one stand off on the top so let us do it and then we will see how it looks like all right here's the first part built all right so we have three standoff and three longer screws and the arms are fixed the next thing we're gonna do is to fix the motors and remember these are clockwise and anti-clockwise motors okay so one is silver one is black uh, cone so you you're gonna see which one is clockwise and which one is anti-clockwise and you should know which way the motors will spin in and lock the cone on top of the uh, thread uh, on top of the shaft okay according to and this and this has to be according to your flight controller layout some like cc3d takes it like one two three four some other flight controllers take it like one two three four and they have to spin in a certain direction so mostly for quadcopters the standard is this one will be uh, clockwise counterclockwise and counterclockwise and clockwise so you will have to uh, according to your quadcopter layout and flight controller setup you will have to put the motors in as I said mostly it is clockwise counterclockwise uh, counterclockwise and clockwise so we're gonna fix the motors according to the clockwise and counterclockwise configuration and we will install the power distribution board then we will solder the ESC's okay and ESC's will rest here okay one two three four somehow you have to fix them here alternatively uh, of course you can also put the ESC's on the arm I like to put the ESC's on the arm because this way the propeller will keep uh, the air wash from the propeller will keep the ESC's cool as well ESC's inside here are difficult to replace also and also they don't keep cool so I would put the ESC's out here on the arms okay so let me go ahead and fix everything up and then we'll see how this is looking okay so motors are fixed and before I can go ahead and start adding uh, 
And before I can go ahead and start installing the uh, power distribution board and ESCs, I found we have an issue. Originally the video shows you can put the power distribution board here, okay, and uh, solder all the stuff on it while your ESCs are here. Okay, I understand that, but on this frame, if I put it here, I will not be able to put these two pieces. So, uh, just check it out. So just check it out. If I put these two pieces here, which are originally supposed to be here, like this. Alright. Now, if they are here, I cannot fit the power distribution board because it's just too big. It has to sit on top of it. I cannot fix the power distribution board if I fix these two pieces here because you can see it's just way too big for uh, for it to fit here. So either I have to do something else, find a smaller power distribution board or go uh, the traditional way by soldering all the ESCs together uh, like red to red and black to black or I simply have to just remove these two pieces which are supposed to be here so I have to just remove these two and stick my power distribution board here which will solve my problem and after that the top plate can easily sit on top of it so uh, this is what I'm gonna do uh, I don't think these two pieces are gonna do something good so just toss them away and I'll go ahead this way okay so all the dirty work has been done and you can see everything is looking neat and clean I have installed the ESC's outside here on the arms and power distribution board you have to make sure to actually put some double-sided tape don't let the bare power distribution board touch the carbon fiber because carbon fiber conducts electricity and <laughs> you will go boom as soon as you connect the battery so i mounted this with the double-sided tape all right so power distribution board is here everything is good now uh these cables will go to the cc3d of course i also mounted I also installed one extra power out so that I can power my uh, video transmitter and cameras with this one. Alright, so far it's looking so nice. Alright, now let's go ahead and prepare the top plate which will sit on top here. Alright, okay, and before that we will go and install three long standoff here on the front, one, two, three and two long standoff on the back which will be one and two right here so let me install the standoff and then we go ahead okay so as there's no user manual definitely just like me you will make mistakes as well now uh, you have to install only one tall standoff on this plate okay if you look here each arm is mounted Okay, if you look here, each arm is mounted with uh, three uh, screws and three standoff. So in the middle, you will have to use a longer screw. You have been provided with four long screws. Uh, let me pick one up, just like this one. All right, so you have been provided with four long screws, actually five, one is a spare. So each this, uh, center, so each of the central standoff or central hole will take the longer screw just like here you can see on this arm there's a longer screw then we go over here focus there's a longer screw here and then here focus there's a longer screw here so you have to uh, make sure to put the central screw like they are three one two three the central one on each arm will be the longer screw so one two three four central screws will be the longer screws okay after that you can easily fit this plate on top of it okay so uh, one of the uh, so these longer screws will stick out just like this okay so these longer screws will stick out just like this and then you can go ahead and install the standoff on top of it just tighten it so this way you will have one two three four standoff mounted right away okay let me just do it and we will look at it okay here we are with this place uh, this plate installed 
and I have left the uh, cables coming through the ESC cables, the signal cables coming through the forward section for now. Okay. Uh, later I will adjust and see if I have to run the cables from here or from the other place. So this is your battery compartment, all right? Your battery will sit here. I'm gonna use a 3S, 3000 milliamp battery or 2800 milliamp battery. This one is swollen, okay, for only for the testing. Not gonna use this one. So this battery will sit here. I mean, your battery will sit here, 3S battery. So this is our battery compartment. Uh, next, we're gonna install this plate on top, okay? And this plate will take all the CC3D and everything. And after that, these uh, sides will come up on the sides, okay? So we will install these on the side after installing these and see how this quad will look like. So it's getting some shape now. Let me install the things and I will show you how it looks like. One more correction in the beginning. I have shown you two of these blocks, okay? So the taller block uh, I realized the taller block will come on the top and the uh, thinner or the shorter block will be installed on the front because your uh, frame is gonna sit like this there will be one screw and then one screw will be here so because this uh, this hole here let me focus a bit in this hole here is a little bit taller so the taller block will sit on top here while the uh, shorter block will sit down here and then you will be able to install the screws and the whole assembly will actually open forward or and then close backward here and this assembly will carry your video transmitter and video camera so let me uh, assemble this one and then we will install it okay so it's taking some shape now here the top frame has been installed it took me a little while to figure out different things but i did it according to my own style many things are missing actually the whole user manual is missing so uh, that's why it took me uh, quite a while a trial and error but i managed to install the system here okay so this one can be opened now just like this cc3d and receiver will come here then it will snap back here and two screws will secure it here all right now the next thing is i'm gonna install these covers okay uh, and the side place the nose cover and the side place will be installed here and then we see how this thing will look like okay here's the finished version i believe i have done everything as per my understanding having no user manual at all so this is how your robocat copy looks like i'm sure this is copy because it has the worst quality screws they were slipping all the time when i was building it i still have to install the uh, cc3d on this one okay so uh, for now i just wanted to show you how this baby looks like after the complete build I'm sure these uh, screws uh, with the plastic standoff or uh, plastic and bolts or nuts and the front canopy will come off very very soon after the few first flights or first two or three flights because of the vibration on the propellers. Propellers are also uh, the ones which supplied are also very very cheap quality propellers and I'm definitely not gonna use them. I'm gonna use my own three blade five inch propeller. So anyhow so anyhow, here it is, the Robocat Copy 270mm uh, FPV Racing Quadcopter. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe because we upload regular and exciting RC videos.